the clever frog. Joke Joke was always busy building things. He never wanted to splash around and he was skinnier than everyone else. The other frogs laughed at him for being different. One day, Joke Joke worked so hard on his latest project that he missed lunch. His stomach began to growl loudly. He ran home as fast as he could. He ran so fast that he tripped and fell down. Mother, I am hungry. Where is my lunch? Joke Joke asked when he got home. But his mother was in bed. She didn't look well. I am very sick, my son. I fell in the sewer while looking for food. The chemicals have given me a rash and I cannot stand up. I must go to the mountain and find medicine for you, mother. Joke Joke's mother coughed and said, No, it's too far and too dangerous. Don't worry, mother. I am brave and clever. I can do it. Joke Joke set off for the mountain, but he soon came to a big river. He would cross it. Suddenly, a plastic bottle floated by. Joke Joke. He got an idea. I will use the bottle to make a boat and float across the river. The bottle made an excellent boat, but the school of fish soon surrounded Joke Joke. Where are you going, frog? The largest fish asked. Please don't eat me, beg Joke Joke. I'm going to fetch medicine for my sick mother. The fish took pity on Joke Joke and pushed his boat in the right direction. Soon Joke Joke saw some frogs. Cool boat, one of them shouted. Thank you, he replied. Do you know where the mountain is? Yes, we can show you. Joke Joke enjoyed traveling with his new friends. They listened to, to his ideas and never laughed at him. But he still worried about his mother. Soon the mountain was in sight and it was time for the other frogs to go home. Joke Joke had to be brave and continue alone. At last he reached a place on the mountain where special leaves grow. The leaves could be used to make medicine help his mother. Hooray! I did it, Joke Joke exclaims. When Joke Joke was ready to go home, he got a new clever idea. Those plastic bags floating in the wind will carry me home. Joke Joke jumped into the air, but it soon began to rain, knocking his parachute out of the sky with a thud. Joke Joke landed on an elephant, and the elephant quite startled. What is that on my back? It is me, Joke Joke the frog. I am trying to find a way home. To give my sick mother medicine. Can I help you? The elephant gave Joke Joke a big toss into the hair. Woohoo! Wh here I go, Joke Joke exclaimed. Just then, a hungry falcon spotted the frog flying in the air. I got you, frog, she cried. Don't eat me, Joke Joke begged. I need to bring the medicine to my mother. She is very sick. Okay, I'll help you, the falcon agreed. You are too skinny to make much for a meal anyway. The falcon carried Joke Joke all the way back to his home. Mother, I'm here. I brought medicine for you. Joke Joke's mother soon recovered. How did you ever get to the mountain and back? She asked Joke Joke. Told her of his big adventure and how he was able to cleverly use the trash to make new things that would help him on his way. I am so proud of you, Joke Joke, his mother said. Joke Joke no longer worried about what other frogs thought of him. He knew that he was different in good ways. He could help people and could make cool things. I have so many new ideas. Wait until you see what I make next.